This is Super Swirly Titan 198, creator of MeTV. Welcome to the test run for an Aaron Sign series on Me TV. I will be your reader, Swirly Chordan Sendo. For today, I'll be reading some errors and looking at a few signs. Now, I know, you've probably seen this concept done a boatload of times throughout the last 13 years or so, but I'm wanting to have my own go at it and see how well I fare with an idea like this. Now, with all that said and known, let's get on with the show. Your computer has detected a lack of malice and domesticas in your vicinity. Think different. Switch to Mac today. Sorry, not on my radar right now. I mean, I know they're said to never crash or get viruses, but those things go for far too much on the market these days. Graphics cards done got some competition in terms of price. Plus, I'm more familiar with the Windows UI more than anything else. Though I do have the money to do so, it's all going towards MPTF at the moment. Could you imagine a Windows user owning and using a Mac regularly? How ludicrous would that be? Gah. Ah yes, one half of the classic sound is performed by the legendary Chris Sutherland, spoken by a brown bear with backpack of blue. Very iconic indeed. Oh, uh, hi. What do you want from me? I do not understandeth your intentions. Um, oh, is it chicken you want? Because if that's the case, go over to the kitchen. I have some KFC leftovers in the microwave. But make sure to go back to where you came when you do, and don't bite off more than you can chew. Gah. Well, that was weird. And yet, I can't help but recognize her from somewhere. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I can do this. Oh, you fool. You thought you could escape? Oh, no, no. I'm going to make sure that you watch my plans unfold, and I'm going to make you perish, you little rodent. Now, away. Before I make mincemeat out of you. Care to eat 62 hot dogs? Heavens to Betsy no! That's way too much food for me to handle. I may like hot dogs, but I am not in the business of stretching my stomach that much. Do you know how much food that is? Eating that much in a single sitting could kill you. How could someone eat 62 hot dogs with no care? What do you think is the most he's ever eaten? I don't know, four, four and a half maybe? Never really took the time to figure that out myself. But I feel like any more than that and they'd start coming back up, if you know what I mean. Eh, not really. Now I'm hungry. Sensory deprivation. Know what comes after and what comes before. Life and death. It's the closest thing we humans know to purgatory. Now then, those tanks are for the elite of the elite, but I am not the elite. I am but a simple, humble youtube or. Let us bring the experience straight to you. And straight to us as well. Bruce, what's the main ingredient in Sepfuary Desperation Tanker? <laughs> what in the name of Kikudo? I had a stroke. Thank you for choosing Erico. Next destination, signs. Suppose the air supply ran a bit dry. I expect better from you. You can't just offer me some errors and then just unceremoniously end it without prior warning. I've got people to entertain. Eh, whatever. I guess I'll take a break from reading errors and go to the outdoors to continue with signs. The three rules for success in business. Rules one through three. Take care of the customer. Yeah, because having goals and values that go solely into making a business thrive totally matters not. What really matters is that your customer is satisfied with their experience. Don't let your focus drive away. It's for the customer. Our mountains aren't just funny. They're hilarious. Is that so? Well, how's about we mosey up and have ourselves a joke war? Me versus mountain. Who is the better comedian? I think I could come up with some witty and crack-up worthy jokes. They'll be summit can't outplay. Wait, you couldn't tell jokes to a mountain? That would kind of defeat the point. Caution, if a car and bike happen to collide into each other at the same time, it will create a tear in the fabric of time and space. 
Great Scott, we can't let that happen. Do you have any idea how much universal damage that would cause? The past would end up in the present, and the present will be affected by the past, thus creating paradoxes within the future. Traveling 88 miles per hour just to fix that chaos sounds too dangerous. Better that I devote myself to study the other great mysteries of the universe. Ooh, am I thirsty. And I'm about to go on a mountain hike. Oh hey, a coke machine. Could sure go for a nice thirst quenching. Hey, you liar! All I see in this machine is a bunch of Dasani bottles. Sir, this is just temporary. We didn't have enough time to print out pictures of any other Coca-Cola beverage, so we just decided to make do with what we have with our Dasani supply. Well fine then, guess I'll go on this hike with little hydration at my disposal. Good man, I suppose. It would have made you more thirsty anyway. 100 plus drink choices at 1,683 feet. Yo, seriously? Sweet! Now I can refresh myself with all the liquids I need. And all it costed was my legs. A worthy sacrifice. Gus's Fried Chicken. World famous. Oh, nice. Maybe I should have recommended that one girl to go here for chicken instead. Guess I'll ring her up to eat here instead. And nobody call me chicken. Oh, wow. Out of things to read? Well, that was a pretty fun run. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of error in sign reading. This video mostly goes out to a scientist whose name I was told not to disclose as an audition for him to view and rate my overall performance. If you like this idea and my performance, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself and the channel quite a lot. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Rolly Torrencendo and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.